welcome back to my channel guys i have not seen you guys all week i am so sorry i started my diet on monday guys i have been suffering i have been going through withdrawals today is thursday so this will be pre-recorded uploaded friday i have been dieting i started monday i'm out of breath so i have started dieting guys and it has been a shit storm let me tell you I caught fever, girl. I was, I, I felt weak. I couldn't move, Miss Thing. Oh, I was going through it. I swear to God, food withdrawals is like worse than crack, bro. I swear. Like, the addiction is real. Food addiction is real. It's real. It's real. It's real. A lot of people don't talk about it, but the shit is real, girl. So, how you like my Harley Quinn? E oh, bitch. How you like my Harley Quinn ears? Look, look at them, YOLO. Hi, I'm Harley Quinn. <laughs> I got these at hottopic.com. You can go check that out if you want to. I'm not sponsored, girl. I bought these shits with my own money. Somebody sends me some shit, girl. You gonna know somebody sent me some shit because I'm gonna let y'all know. That shit gonna say sponsored right here in the bottom of the video, the whole video, okay? Have that shit as a watermark. Bam, I should sponsor, bitch. <laughs> so moving along, guys, it has been a crazy week. Monday, get ready, because we are starting a new series. I cannot wait. But guys, that's enough with the rambling. I'm just rambling, rambling, rambling. This is my haul. I did a haul. And no, it's not a Sephora haul. I got some stuff from, I got something from Sephora. And I got this free bag with my points. But everything in here is not from Sephora, girl. So sit back and relax. Come check out my haul. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. It feels so good to be back. I missed you guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you've been doing. What's the newest thing in the beauty community? Have you bought any palettes? If so, what did you buy, Miss Thing? Because you know, you gotta let me know. You gotta let me know, bitch, though. Don't be trying to hide your palettes and be all to yourself and be the only one with the hot palette, Miss Thing. No, no, we don't do those, okay? Now, going in, guys, the first thing I bought at my local beauty supply store is the Apogee 2 Step 2 two-step treatment and this is a protein treatment girl and it left my hair smooth silky and delicious honey and I chopped off like two inches of my hair because my hair is forget it that's why you guys always like we want to see your hair down your hair is always up my hair is always up Miss Thing because my hair is recovering from heat damage for months now and it still hasn't fully recovered like it's at a great state right now but it's not fully recovered if you know what I mean if you want to see what happened to my hair, you can go in my videos and look at my hair journey video or I'll probably link it in this video somewhere and you guys can check that out guys because my hair has been through hell. I use this treatment, I bought two of them. They say you're supposed to put a protein treatment once a month or once every other month. Um, I put it in my hair girl and this shit left my hair flawless, flawless for my curly girls, for you know girls who suffer from dry and damaged brittle hair girl this is the way to go when i tell you i had instant results mistake after i rinsed this shit out my hair my hair was like fluffy and ba ba boom and ba da boom and ba da bang mistake i was living so that was that okay next i listened to you guys you guys told me about the um juvia's place nubian one and two palace missing and guess what your homegirl did i went and bought the nubian one nubian two palette missing bam and bam mistake i got these bitches <laughs> i'm probably gonna do a look on these soon we shall see we shall see look at these colors Miss. Thing. I don't know. Let's see. Let me swatch it. Swatch it. Oh, they feel so like this. I love Julie Bia's place. <laughs> Look at those swatches. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is that? What is that? Girl. I am living. I am living for this palette. Yes, I cannot wait to play with this thing. I really cannot. You know, girls, um, I have to say, I know a lot of people, you know, hate Julia's Place, and there's a lot of bad um, reviews and stuff um, about their customer service, but I never have a problem with their customer service. One. And two, and two, they have some of the most bomb formulated shadows on the freaking market. I'm talking about, they up there with Urban Decay Miss Thing. You better, t girl, if you don't have a Juvia's Place palette, you better invest that money in that Juvia's Place palette. Miss Thing. 
Then we have the Nubian one, and the art is so cute. I wish they would put a mirror inside of their palettes. That would be ideal. I mean, that would just make it, you know, bomb.com. So these are more, this is more of like a neutral palette, which I could use, being as that I got rid of my Lorac one and two palette because I found out they were fake and not saying that I'm too good to have fake palettes in this thing, but I'm a makeup collector. Uh, I like um, collecting authentic shit, you know? So I got rid of them shits in this thing. I might purchase them, I might not, I don't know. So let's go swatch. Oh my God, this shit is so buttery. Like, I don't even understand. I don't even, uh, what? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> what? What you say? <laughs> Look at these swatches. Oh my God. Oh my god, you guys ready? You ready? Swatch porn! Boo yow! Boo yow in your face! In your face, girl! Oh, I can't, I can't. I don't know what it is with me and like palettes. Like I have a serious palette addiction problem. Like for real, for real. For real, for real. You know, you guys be thinking I don't listen to y'all comments, right? On Instagram. Girl, go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put it right here, right here, right here. Go follow me on Instagram, more by me, da. Um, and let me know, like, especially if you do swatches of a palette. If, you know, you see some makeup that you think I might like, Miss D, come holla at your girl, come holla at your girl. Next up, guys, yes, the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Miss Thing. Miss Thing. This palette is fire. I did swatches on my Instagram. Girl, this palette is palette. This palette? This palette? <laughs> what? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> this palette? Look at those scarlet. Okay, guys, so these look glittery. They are glittery. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing glitter specs in these. In these. What's wrong with me today? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm rusty. I have a video. <laughs> so excuse me for that, Miss Thing. But yo, these are sickening, y'all. Y'all, I will swatch some for you here. So you guys can check this bad boy out. Woo! Thing. Look at this. Look at this. You ready? You ready? <gasps> oh. What is this? <laughs> go! Go! Who's this? Who this? <laughs> Who is this? I can't. Nah, this is bomb.com. Hi. Hi. How are you? I like you. <laughs> I said like you. These are so beautiful, guys. I mean, this, if you do not have this palette, I feel bad for yourself. <laughs> but this makes my Anastasia glow kit complete and you know, I just have to collect them all. I feel like Pokemon, Ca gotta catch them all. <laughs> gotta catch them all, bitch, gotta catch them all. Yes, girl, beautiful, 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 beautiful. What do we have next? So next, Miss Thing, I heard you guys, you guys were telling me about the liquid lipsticks by Wet n Wild, the um, cat suits. And I went ahead and bought some cat suits. Y'all, YOLO. Okay, I'm not gonna swatch them all in this video, guys. If you wanna see a swatch video on these, let me know and I will do a swatch video. You know, just let me know, okay? Um, however, let me see. Maybe we could pick one, right? Let's swatch one. Why not, right? This is a fucking beauty channel, yo. Let me see, let me see, let me see. That red looks like fun, right? Let's try the red. Let's see, let's see the formulation. Because at the end of the day, they're all probably formulated the same. Well, you never know with different colors, right? It be it, like it varies from like color to color, especially with liquid liquid what? <laughs> with liquid lipsticks, it varies like from color to color. It does. Like sometimes the formulation isn't blah blah. But these tubes are cute. I'm digging the packaging, guys. Very cute packaging. I mean. Wet n Wild is known for having good quality shit. I would say Wet n Wild for drugstore is a cheap brand which produces great quality makeup. 
You have Nike K Cosmetics, which in um the como se dice, which in the beauty supply store is a great brand as well. So let's swatch it. <gasps> the wand is clear, guys. The wand is clear. That is, I've never seen that. Girl, I've never seen a clear wand that looks so fancy. Yes, give it to me, girl. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. Mmm. Feels very silky. Very rich. It feels very rich. Oh wow guys Wow this feels like a feels like a velvet liquid lipstick we have some bleeding going on here as you can see so let's see how long it takes to dry so I will continue going through the bag and Throughout the video, I will let you know how it wears. But that is beautiful. Look at how vibrant that is. Oh my God, but we have some red here missing. What's going on here? Can be having red lipstick on my face. There we go. Okay, look at that. Girl, that red, I'm living. This thing. Ooh, castle, you better work. Oh, I think I'm gonna collect these. Oh my God, guys, thank you so much for telling me about this. A few of you told me, as well as my friend, um, Gracie. So thank you so much for that, guys. I really, really appreciate that tip because I really want to start a liquid lipstick collection and I think I'm going to start with the cat suit. This feels amazing. It's drying fairly quickly. Um, let's see if we have any transfer. Okay, so there's no transfer, guys. No transfer there. And it doesn't feel drying. It feels like velvet, like, I can't explain it. Wow. What an excellent formula. Oh my God, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for telling me about that. And I think they were only like five bucks, six bucks, something like that. Girl, you better work. Yes, Miss Thing, I'm collecting all of those. I wish. Do they make vibrant colors? Do you know? Can you only purchase the Wet n Wild cat suits in CVS or Dwayne Reed? Or can you purchase them online? I'm going to check online and see if I can purchase them online. Because if I can, Miss Thing, I think I'm buying the whole collection. Work. Next, guys, something I have been waiting for for so long the Androgyny Palette. <laughs> This just came today. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, hot pink is my favorite color. Coming to a theater near you. Yes. Miss Thing. Oh my god. Now, I'm not really living for the back. The back looks very um, high school. You see how big that is with his Instagram and his YouTube channel. I mean, it's great marketing, but you could have put some gold, some silver. Wait, what is this? Silver or gold? It's like a copper. You could have put some copper, like, writing in the back. Would it just gave it that um effect, you know? But whatever. I am liking the gold, copper, whatever seal on the front. I think it's way better than the Beauty Killer palette as far as packaging goes. Let me give you a side-by-side -side comparison here. So the Beauty Killer was more um, Barbie pink. This one's more of a dark hot pink. The texture of the palette is different. This is more of like a cheap, you know, kind of whatever texture. Um, and this one is not. However, I do like the Beauty Killer palette, how they had the gold inside. Here, you don't have that gold inside. I wish he would've took this imprint and put it into um, here. 
that would have kind of just gave the palette a more va va boom as far as packaging this palette i believe is 44 dollars okay guys so we have a broken shadow if you can see that that shadow is broken so it's chipped in the corner i mean am i gonna send it back for a chip in the corner i don't think so um however i wish it wasn't chipped in the corner i wish i didn't get a chipped palette but it is what it is this thing what are you gonna do that has me a little disappointed but for the most part the palette's in good condition so these are the colors let's swatch some i'm going to swatch deja vu fetish which is the one that came broken and then I am going to swatch, let me see, frosting. So let's see what those look like. Woo, Miss Thing, how are you doing? That's fucking pigmented. That is pigmented. Now what I wanna do is I wanna see the formula because supposedly this formula is better than his last formula. I believe he did say that. So let's just take three from his old palette. I'm gonna pick Rich Bitch, Expensive, and Star Power. Now let's see if these, how these feel when swatched. I'm gonna swatch them right here. Now, if you can see that, his old colors are not as pigmented as his new colors. Also, the pigmentation, the formulation is way better. So, he has improved his eyeshadow formula, guys. I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of that. I don't feel like that needs its whole a whole video on its own because they're not the same palette. So I figure, hey, throw that shit in here for you guys. Why not? But yeah, definitely. If you can see that, like the pink is like kind of sketchy. The um, blue is also sketchy. And so is the yellow. It's kind of chunky and has like a hard texture. Versus these that are like border, honey. Like border. For anyone who was wondering if he stepped his game up, if he changed his formulation, ba-ba-boom. There you go, Miss Thing. He did change his formulation and it is way better in my opinion. I love it. So yes, the only thing I can say is they are pretty soft. I see I already made a dent with one swatch. I will show you up close. You can see it already made a dent with one swatch. So they are fairly buttery. They are fairly, they are fairly buttery. They are fairly buttery. I definitely will be doing a review and swatches on this palette. So look forward to that. Um, if you would like to see me do a review with the Nubian 1 and 2, let me know. I would be willing to do that. But these are fairly old. So I don't, you know, I didn't think it, I should do a swatches and review on it. But if there's anybody who wants to see that, I would be more than willing to show you that Miss thing. So just, you know, let me know if that's something that you're interested in. What else do we have in this handy dandy? Shit. What else do we have in this handy dandy of a Sephora bag? So I still have more things in here. So I went ahead and while I was getting those katsu lipsticks that you guys told me about, I went ahead and picked up the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Highlight Illuminator. I don't know if you guys have heard about this or have seen this, but I thought this was really, really cool, guys. Like, I was like, okay, okay, I see you. I see you, Miss Thing. So, I definitely want to go ahead and so watch it that. So we're gonna do that now. Guys, this Casu lipstick. Miss Thing, I'm ready. Where we going? Vente, let's go ladies, we out. Going to dance, Miss Thing. <laughs> don't get me started, don't get me started. I start the gym on Monday, Blink Fitness, Miss Thing, and I am not looking forward to that. Ugh, but I know I have to do it, you know. For those of you who don't know about my illness, I will link that video here as well. I was diagnosed with pseudotumosa libre, so girl, if I don't lose weight, I'm gonna go blind. So basically, I have no choice, right? 
So now I'm opening this highlighter. It comes in a little twisty cappy with a little Zofer or spongy. It's not a Zofer, it's a spongy. Where's the product, my thing? Oh, there's a little thing. There's a little thing. I was like, bitch, they took my product. Oh, it's a sponge. Okay, here we go. Here's the little, here's the little sponge. I don't see anything illuminating about this, but whatever, girl. I'm gonna squeeze the sponge in there, and we're gonna swatch this puppy. You see an illumination there? Let's see. Okay, rub that out. It's like a really soft glow. You know what this shit reminds me of? That um, that freaking that rose by Lancome. That rose highlighter shit. It's like that. It's like very, very slow mo. Very not all that misting. So yeah. This gets a huge thumbs down. Very just regular glow. It's like, I don't like it. It's not giving me very that. Dang, I want to be highlighted to the gods, to outer space. So, I don't have any lip scrub. Well, I think I have a Bite Beauty lip scrub, but Miss Thing, I wanted to try this one. By Jeffree Star. This is the Velour Lip Scrub in Strawberry. So, I have a lot. And this thing is huge. For $12, Miss Thing, I got lip scrubs for days. Look at this. I'm going to put this in my hand. Look at, look. And I have a big pan. Look at this. Look at this. It's bigger than my lips. This is big. This is big. It smells like strawberry, a little artificial. Let's see the texture. pretty rough yeah it's pretty rough so I think it'll get everything off the skin but this is great to have especially when you wear liquid lipsticks and me now that I'm like all into the liquid lipstick thing yeah it's missing I'm mad late to the liquid lipstick I bought I told you guys I bought the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks I don't know if you guys remember if you saw my my video I have bought the set that came with all these little guys for the holiday and girl, once I tried that lipstick, I was like, ooh, liquid lipstick's the way to go, Miss Thing. Yes. And now I'm a lipstick lover. And now I'm a lipstick, no, now I'm a liquid lipstick lover. And now I want all of them. Oh my God. So I heard that Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks, whatabomb.com. So I went and ordered six of these bad boys. Ooh, bitch. Box. <laughs> Box just said. So, I gotta open this one, guys. This is the Blue Velvet. Miss Thing. You know we swatching this bad boy. We are so watching this bad boy. That blue is to die for. I've been wanting this alien blue for so long. I call this alien blue because that's what I call it but it's called blue velvet and girl this is pretty yas missing yas so the next one is called dominatrix and I will not be swatching all of these guys but look I needed a dark like a dark brown and I got it Miss I got it look at that brown Look at that brown. This thing is like not auto focusing, and I don't like it. So that brown is bomb.com. Then I got Celebrity Skin, which is raved about like crazy. This now looking at this, this looks very pale for my skin tone. Ooh, so we shall see. We shall see. Um, next is Rose Matter. This also looks very pale. I didn't think it would be this rose, I guess. 
which makes no sense because it's called rose matter next we have unicorn blood bitch well you knew i had to get unicorn blood because everybody raves about this shit so this is unicorn blood and then i have prom night which i had to get because hot pink is my favorite color i'm tired of saying Girl, we swatching this. We are swatching this. Oh, my thing. Oh my God, look at that. Yo, these are bomb.com. I'm sorry. These look good. I'm gonna let y'all know how they work on the lips. Eat those, okay? I am noticing something, guys with the uh, Wet n Wild and the Jeffree Star lipsticks. These are the same containers, guys. Look, let me show you something. These are the same containers. Look at the tops. Look at the bottoms. And now check this shit out. You see the crystal? Clear Dofa. Look at this one. How funny is that, guys, that I said I liked the cat suit container with the crystal clear Dofa, and Jeffree Star has the same one. Like, am I having a good day or what? Let's see. I think I'm having a good day. That's what I think. What do you think? That's what I think. Look, guys, you want to see my little Harley Quinn? You want to see my little Harley Quinn? Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> so not only do they have to say, I'm going to collect all of these. I'm sorry. I'm going to start collecting the cat suit. And the reason I'm going to go into Jeffree and collect Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks is because he has a very wide range of color selection. I love bright colors, guys. And um, I don't know if Wet n Wild has bright colors. If they do, girl, you know I'm picking them shits up too. But yeah, I think these are the lipsticks I'm going to be collecting. Let me know if you guys have tried these lipsticks. What do you think? Did you buy anything that I have in this haul? If you did, comment down below. Let me know how you like it. <clears throat> and yes, if you did a haul recently, please tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you got. Let me see some swatches. Girl, because I'm a makeup addict and I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm buying more makeup. <laughs> I can't with my life. Guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video because I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will see you guys on Monday with my new series, so stay tuned. Tap that bell, guys, so you can get a notification whenever I upload videos and you can see this new series that is coming out. I hope you guys like it. I have been working very hard on it, and I can't wait to bring it to you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Girl, I know you didn't see my video all the way to the end and forget to subscribe. <laughs> Hi, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Go subscribe.